Strangles are normally male to female, adult to child, for the amount of pressure that's needed around the neck. Sleepers are totally different. Sleepers are the blood supply, the carotid artery, and the slightest bit of pressure, if it's held on for more than three seconds, you'll we'll start to see little black floaters. Five seconds, those black floaters get bigger, within eight seconds you're unconscious. I'm going to demonstrate on Jen now. I've got her kneeling down because I always get asked the question, what happens if someone is bigger than you? Jen's head's on line with my sternum at the moment, and that's probably making me the equivalent of nine foot. So wherever I demonstrate now is to extreme. Normally, um, when demonstrated, people turn their head to a comfortable position in the crooks of the elbow. And this was recommended by Strathclyde magazine for lawn workers to turn your head towards the elbow. They were wrongly thinking if the, um, the throat gets in the crooks of the elbow, you're allowed to breathe. But in effect, the forearm and the bicep blocks both carotid arteries off. If you turn your head the other way, it would allow this carotid artery to remain open. You need to block both carotid arteries off for it to take effect. What Jen's going to do now, she's going to use our strap muscles in her neck and grimace. As she turns away, she's going to put both hands on the wrist. By pulling down on the wrist, I can put as much effort in as I like. Now, but I can't apply pressure to the neck. Most self-defense classes will recommend that you punch and kick to protect yourself. This takes more than three seconds and by that time you've gone into a sleeper situation. This can be found on the section on the website.